is going on YouTube, The Assist Man. And in this video, I'm bringing you something that is crazy. So I advise you to watch this entire video from beginning to end because this is really, really going to blow your mind. Now, what I would also want from you guys, if you could, is to make sure that you share this video with your friends, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it everywhere you can, because this is amazing. So, lag is a big, big part of the online gaming community, especially in games that we play all the time, like Call of Duty. Now, I'm always wondering myself, why do I lag so bad when I'm playing Call of Duty? And I'm even starting to lag more in other games that are not Call of Duty. You see, years ago, I would never have these issues. I would lag in Call of Duty a little bit, but not that much. And in other games, I really wouldn't lag at all. But for the past couple months now, I'd say the past six months to a year, I've been lagging like crazy in Call of Duty. And I've even been lagging in other games. And to me, it makes absolutely no sense because I have some of the fastest internet you could possibly have in the United States, let alone in the world. Now, I have Cox Cable Communications as my internet provider. My speeds, the package I pay for, which I pay almost $100 a month for, are supposed to be about 100 to 125 megabits per second download speed and about 10 to 20 megabits per second upload speed. Now, now those are extremely fast speeds, so that's what I should be getting. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a speed test. I'm going to do a speed test on my PC, which is a gateway all-in-one PC. Then I'm going to be doing it in another speed test on my 27 inch iMac, it's the brand new latest model iMac. Then I'm gonna do a speed test on the Xbox 360 console. And if you always wondered how to do a speed test on the Xbox 360 or how to test your internet speeds on the Xbox 360, you're gonna find out in this video. And then after I do the speed test on the Xbox 360 console, I'm gonna go ahead and do the speed test on the Xbox One console. Now, these numbers that you're about to see are going to amaze you, and it might astonish you, because it astonished me as well. So now I finally know why and realize why I'm lagging so much on my Xbox 360 when I'm playing games. So sit back and watch the next five to six minutes of these speed tests that I'm going to conduct on both of my computers, my Xbox 360 console, and my Xbox One console. And then afterwards, we're going to talk about more about what these numbers mean and how Microsoft and Xbox is screwing us over. So go ahead and check out the rest of this video. Now, as you can see here, I am on my gateway all-in-one PC desktop computer. And like I said in the beginning of in the beginning of the video, my speeds should be around 100 to 125 megabits per second down and around 10 to 20 megabits per second up. So this is speedtest.net. This is the number one website out there to test your speeds that you're getting on any of your devices. This is a very good website to use. I highly recommend it. The link to it will be in the description. Now you can see on the first test that I ran, the speeds that I got, they were good. 115 down, 17 up, ping of around 23. I ran a speed test right before this off camera and my speeds were 121 down with a ping of 21 and an upload speed of 15. Now that's right in the averages that I should be getting and this is on my PC. Now mind you, my PC is also connected hardwired to my router by an ethernet cable and it is a PC and it's a little bit older so I wouldn't expect it to be running as fast as my iMac does, but it's still getting the speeds that I am actually supposed to be getting. Now this is the third speed test I'm doing, and you can see my ping was 25 milliseconds, my download speed was a little bit over 117, and my upload speed was a little bit over 16 right in line with what I'm supposed to be getting. So now let's move over to my iMac. This is my 27 inch iMac desktop computer, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the internet and I opened up Safari and I went to speedtest.net. Now I ran three tests. Two of them I ran off camera and one of them I ran on camera. In the first two tests, I got uh, like 27 ping, 120 
uh, download speed, 12 up speed. The other test, my pings were 19 and 20, and my down speeds were 123 and 125. And my upload speeds were 11 and 16. So right on point what I'm supposed to be getting from what I'm paying for from my provider. Very fast speeds. Now let's go ahead and let's turn on my Xbox 360 console. This is a screenshot here and a video of my Xbox 360 console. I'm going to Internet Explorer. And the website you want to go to is called bandwidthplace.com. And this is going to allow you to test the speeds on your gaming consoles, whether they be Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, whatever. You can go to this as long as you have an internet browser on your gaming um, console itself. Now, this is a test I ran on my Xbox 360. Now, I should be getting speeds of around 125 down and about 15 to 20 up. Now, my very, very first test that I ran, this is my first test on the Xbox 360. I wasn't getting anywhere near those speeds. My download speed was a 3.4. My upload speed was a 3. My ping was a 22. That can't be right, can it? I, I, that, there's no way that's right. I'm going to have to test this again. So let's test it again. See what kind of speeds that we get on the second test. Because maybe the first test was just, you know, out of whack. You know, that's why I like to do three tests of everything I do just to, you know, weigh the law of averages and make sure that one number is not statistically way, way higher than another number. I want to see averages on these speed tests. So now this is the second speed test that I'm running on the Xbox 360 console. And as you can see, I'm still getting very low speeds. My download speed's only a 4.6. My upload speed's only a 4.9. There's no way. Let's run this test again. Now, mind you, I'm getting 125 megabits per second, but Xbox 360 is only giving me four megabits per second. That's only around two to 3% of my available bandwidth that I'm getting from Xbox 360 servers. Why is this? Why are they limiting our bandwidth so extremely low? No wonder we lag in all these games. Look at the third speed test, 3.68 down, 4.03 up. This doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, but the numbers don't lie. So now let's go ahead and turn on my Xbox One console. And as you can see here, I have the Xbox One controller in my hand. I'm, I'm uh, turning on the Xbox One right now. Here's a screenshot of my Xbox One. And let's go to Internet Explorer. And let's go back to that same exact bandwidthplace.com and let's run a few speed tests on the Xbox One because I'm... I'm assuming that it's going to be exactly the same, maybe even less, because my Xbox One is connected by Wi-Fi. It's not even connected by Ethernet hardwired like my Xbox 360 is. And look at these speeds I'm getting on my Xbox One console. My download speed has already eclipsed over 50 megabits per second. That's literally 15 times faster than the 360. My upload speeds right now are hovering around 10. Is that possible? There's, how is that possible? Look at these speeds. My down was 57. My up was 25. There's no way that that is literally almost 20 times, 15 times faster than the Xbox 360. That's got to be a misprint. Let's test it again and let's see what kind of speeds we're getting so we can look at the averages once again. Now in this second test, weirdly enough, I'm getting the exact same speeds as the first test. I just hovered at around 50 megabits per second on a Wi-Fi wireless connected Xbox One. And now my upload speeds are consistently around 10, just like the first test. 49.52 down, 26.48 up. This is crazy. This can't be real. I have to test it one more time. And let's go ahead and test it again. And the exact same thing. I'm getting 15 times more better speeds on my Xbox One than I'm getting on my Xbox 360. Upload and around, what is it, five to seven times faster speeds upload on my Xbox One? Why is that? There is some kind of scam going on. There must be. Now, as you've seen as I conducted those speed tests, the numbers were dramatically different. On my PC computer, I ran three speed tests. I ran two of them on camera and I ran one of them off camera. And my pings on the three speed tests with my PC were 23, 25, and 21. 
pretty average, around a 23 millisecond ping, which is very good. My download speeds were 115, 117, and 121. Once again, extremely, extremely fast internet. That's about an average of around 118 megabits per second. My upload speeds were 17, 16, and 15. So about an average of around 16. Then when I conducted the speed test on my iMac, my 27-inch Apple iMac computer, my ping speeds were 27, 20, and 19. I did three tests. I like to always do three tests just to make the law of averages more factual. My uploads, or I'm sorry, my download speeds on my 27-inch iMac were 120, 123, and 125. So for about an average of 123 megabits per second on my iMac. My upload speeds were 12, 11, and 16. So that's about an average of around 13 to 14 upload speed on my iMac. Once again, all those numbers stay consistent based around the averages I got with my PC and the averages through doing three tests on the PC and the iMac. The numbers stayed very consistent. Then you seen when I went to the Xbox 360 and did a speed test on my Xbox 360. Now, mind you, my Xbox 360 is not connected by Wi-Fi. It is not on wireless. My Xbox 360 is hardwired with an Ethernet Cat6 cable. And my speed test on my Xbox 360, my three tests that I did of ping was 22, 21, and 21. Pretty good. But this is where it got crazy. My download speeds on my Xbox 360 were about 3, 4, and 3. And then my upload speeds were 3, 4, and 4. Does that make any sense whatsoever? On my computer, I'm getting upload speeds of around 10 to 15. And on my download speeds, I'm getting average around 120 to 125 megabits per second. So how come on my Xbox 360 am I getting download speeds of 3 to 4 megabits per second and upload speeds of 3 to 4 megabits per second? That's like literally 2% of the speeds that I'm getting on my computer and the speeds that my modem and my router is producing. So what really is Microsoft doing? What is the Xbox 360 console doing? Are their servers so old and outdated that they're being bogged down all the time by millions and millions of users that they can't even give us a sufficient amount of data bandwidth to play the games that we play on our consoles? I don't know what's going on, but then if you've seen the test I did on the Xbox One console, it blew my mind. Now, mind you, my Xbox One is connected by Wi-Fi. It is connected to wireless. It is not hardwired. So I expected it to be much slower than my Xbox 360 console that was actually connected to Ethernet and being hardwired. But the facts and the speed test astonished me. The three speed tests that I conducted on the Xbox One console, my pings were 21, 22, and 22. Very consistent from what the Xbox 360 pings were and my PC and Apple pings were. But then... My download speeds on my Xbox One console were 57, 50, and 58 megabits per second. And my upload speeds were 25, 26, and 26 megabits per second. So what kind of scam is Microsoft and Xbox trying to pull on us? Speeds on the Xbox 360 are only 3 to 4 megabits per second up and down, but on the Xbox One, and I was connected by Wi-Fi, they were 50 megabits plus down and 25 average up imagine if i would have connected it to ethernet and had it hardwired i guarantee you those speeds would be way faster so what kind of scam is microsoft trying to pull on us are they making the xbox 360 servers lag on purpose so people would go to the xbox one because you know that they're having problems actually selling the xbox one consoles so are they actually doing this on purpose are they making the speeds and the bandwidth so low on the xbox 360 that people lag so much that they buy the xbox one because the speeds on the xbox one are 10 to 20 times faster on average they are 16 to 17 times faster up and down than the xbox 360 i'm in disbelief i cannot believe that i'm running 125 megabits per second down and around 15 megabits per second up. But on my Xbox 360 console, I am only getting speeds of 3 to 4 megabits per second. 
And then on the Xbox One, that's connected by Wi-Fi, not even by Ethernet, like my Xbox 360 console is, I'm getting speeds of above 50 megabits per second and upload speeds of above 25 megabits per second. Microsoft, Xbox, what are you doing? What kind of scam are you trying to conduct? You know, two years ago when I ran these tests on my consoles, it was never like this. I was getting download speeds of 20 plus, upload speeds of around 10. And that was before I had this faster internet. And I was getting that on my Xbox 360. Now around a year and a half, two years later, I'm getting three and four megabits per second. No wonder I'm lagging all the time. No wonder we always complain about lag. It's because no matter how fast your internet is, Microsoft is limiting us to only three to four megabits per second up and down. It makes no sense. It's crazy. And if you don't believe me about this, do it yourself. I left all the information in this video so you can go and test your speeds on your PCs, your Xbox 360s, and Xbox Ones yourself. All the information is there. So, you guys, I don't know what's going on. All I know is that Microsoft and Xbox are conducting some kind of scam. So please go ahead and share this video. Share it everywhere. Tell your friends about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up like. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and check out my other videos. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man, and like always, I am out.